if you cannot declare bandits as terrorists, declare them as federal civil servants, Shehu Sani tells Buhari regime. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning to listen. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government has said the need to follow due process is responsible for the delay in declaring bandits as terrorists. Now the news in detail. A former senator who represented Kaduna Central in the Senate, Shehu Sani, has taken a swipe at the President Muhammad Buhari's administration over its failure to declare bandits as terrorists. A week ago, the 36 state houses of assembly speakers called on Buhari to declare bandits as terrorists and enemies of the nation. Also, Castino State Governor Amadou Belo Masari and his Kaduna counterpart Nassau Arufai and the National Assembly had also urged the government to declare a state of emergency on the nation's security and declare bandits as terrorists. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government has said the need to follow due process is responsible for the delay in declaring bandits as terrorists. Expressing his displeasure with the delay, Sani on Monday took to his Twitter handle lamenting that the bandits are killing people regardless of religion and place of worship. They killed Muslim worshippers in their mosques in Niger and Kassina State. They killed Christians in their churches in Kaduna State. If the government does not want to declare them terrorists, it should declare them federal civil servants, he wrote on his verified Twitter handle on Monday. His comments come after the attack by some gunmen on the Baptist Church, Kaku Daji, in Chekum local government area of Kaduna State, leaving two dead and some others abducted. Another attack? Another attack? Ah, my goodness. Well, would you blame the... Would you blame the... Would you blame uh, uh, Mr. Shehu now? Do, would you blame? Because... <laughs> Since I, what is holding these people, you know, people are saying maybe it is because the government has not really seen these people for who they are. That is why the government is treating them, you know, with key gloves, buying them pampas, you know, making them, you know, making them feel very comfortable. Maybe when these people are now proclaimed terrorists now, the government will be able to see clearly that, yes, these people are really terrorists. They are killing that is when maybe the killing will not be very visible. Maybe maybe before now, it is like a stage drama where everything is acted, you know, when they, you know, wear costumes and all. Maybe, just maybe, that is why. So maybe he's tired of, you know, what, what is holding foreign due process? Meanwhile, it did not take long for this present administration, this same administration, to call the the freedom fighters, the indigenous people of uh, uh, Biafra now, IPOP, Terrorists, because they have a color and a symbol. Wow. Wonderfully, wow. <laughs> Let me not talk to Cyrene, please. I mean, you can easily say some people who are calling you out on where you, where you're, they're not looking at you. You are not doing things where they call you out. You are calling them because they are saying things as they are now. They are now terrorists. Meanwhile, people who kill on a daily basis. They kill at will, they rape, they maim, they abduct, and they come out openly to admit to all those crimes. And you keep saying that these same people now, that you are following due processes, so that, <laughs> oh my goodness, so that what could happen? So that they could surrender enough and you're going to take them in? Is that it? Because the people of Nigeria, and I'm sure they're curious to what exactly is holding it? Of course, these people, apart from them being declared terrorists, the thing is, what is going to be done to them? It is seeming as if these people are enjoying, like, you know, they are enjoying some kind of attention from the government because these people are the people that the ne government negotiates with. The government negotiates with these people. But they refuse to negotiate with freedom fighters, protesters, you know? They refuse to... A negotiator, you know, call for dialogue. I mean, what is really going on? They're enjoying the... They're enjoying the, you know, attention from the government, and the government is also enjoying, you know, the show they are putting on. That is, it is seeming like it, sincerely. It is really, really seeming like it. Because I do not understand the process now. 
it is was shocking when we heard information getting to us that this uh, um the indigenous people of Biafra now IPOB they were referred to as you know terrorists and that efforts are being made that globally they are going to be seen as terrorists and I'm saying the effort that is going to be channeled to make sure that there is this insecurity in the north region of a country is calmed. That is where the main issue is. In fact, the main fire is there. And people are making efforts for things that are not really that necessary. I mean, this particular issue, I mean, you know, it is, it is, it is, it is quite alarming. That particular uh, information that got to us, I was like, are you, is this happening? Is this really happening? <laughs> it is not, it is not funny, sincerely. So why is this process not taking time? Why is it seeming like, you know, they are waiting for all these people now to come out and surrender and come out so that they can come out tomorrow? Oh, these particular people. And, you know, it is seeming like it. It is really seeming like it because last two weeks we were told about how many people surrendered. And, you know, last two weeks and the next two weeks now they'll come and tell you, okay, these people now, about 10,000 people. I keep asking yourself, is it homeless? Is it a whole not? Northern Nigeria that is now, you know, that are now uh, uh, bandits, that are now ISWAP. You start asking yourself, is it a whole Northern Nigeria now that is because they'll come and they'll say 10,000, 2,000 people, you know, surrender to the Nigerian army and then, you know, 10,000 with their families. I will not say bandits have families. They came and surrendered and these governments at the end of the day will take care of them and take care of their families and leave the victims, the victims that these people have created. And I keep asking myself, how did we get there as a country? How did we get here? The talks even going around, the side talks even going around, are that these particular people, <laughs> oh God, not one, not, okay, more than one person have come out to say, oh, this particular set of people should, you know, they are, they are, they are these particular people that have, have uh, um, surrendered that they should be paid a stipend. And I'm like, Nobody has ever said that about the victims. Nobody. Nobody has said that about the In fact, information getting to us is that a particular state said their IDP centers, I mean, their, yes, IDP centers are closing 31st of December. And I'm saying, what plans do you have? What of people who their houses were destroyed, their means of livelihood were destroyed? You're leaving them with nothing. You are closing down the IDP center. And people are saying, people, oh my God. So that they are not going to go back to banditry. Are you for real? Are you for real? This particular one is loud and it can only be heard in one nation. And what is the name of that nation? Nigeria. On those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.